Hi, this is William from Great Affordable Watches, and in this video, I'm gonna go through 10 great automatic chronographs under 1,500 US dollars. And as we all know, it can be a bit tricky to find an affordable automatic chronograph. So in this video, I'm gonna list 10 great automatic chronographs under $1,500. Of course, $1,500 is still a lot of money for a watch, but there are a few watches in this list that can be had for well under $1,500 as well. So $1,500 is the maximum amount for these watches. Even though it's very expensive, it's still reasonable for an automatic chronograph. Okay, let's start with the first watch. And this is a new watch from the French company Acron. And this is a relatively small micro brand that makes some excellent watches. A few years ago, they released the Acron K02 and I am a big fan of that watch. It was a diver with a top grade movement from ETA. And in my opinion, it looked really unique and had great quality. So yeah, I really liked that watch. And uh, recently they released the K05 automatic chronograph. And I actually just got the K05 Panda version. And this is of course an automatic chronograph with the ETA 2894-2 top grade movement with the perlage Geneva stripes and blued screws. And I think the movement looks absolutely stunning. And the watch is 41 millimeters in diameter, but it got a relatively short lug to lug distance. So it sits uh, much smaller on the wrist, which is uh, something really nice in my opinion. It got a 100 meter water resistance. And the first impressions of this watch is that it got great quality, great finish on the case, a really nice looking dial. Uh, the proportions are great as well. I really like the lug to lug length. I think the watch sits really comfortably on the wrist. And as you guys know, if you have followed my videos, I'm a big fan of a Panda dial. And the watch actually comes on both a bracelet and a leather strap. And I put it on the leather strap right now. And I must say that it's one of the best leather straps I've seen in this price range. And the price of this watch is 1,350 euros. And the leather strap, as I said, I think it looks great. It's actually curved, so it sits really nicely against the case. This watch is limited edition, so it can be a bit harder to find in the future perhaps, but uh, I believe they have a few in stock still. And uh, I will do a full review of this watch in the future in a couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that if you want to know more about this watch. Okay, let's move on to the second watch. And uh, this watch is from a man and it's the Skymaster automatic chronograph. And this watch retails for 800 euros. I think it's a early Kickstarter price, if I'm not mistaken. And this watch also comes with ETA 2894-2. It's a LBR grade, I think, not a top grade, like on the Acron. It comes in a black dial, a panda dial, a blue dial, and an inverted panda dial, and also uh, some other color, if I'm not mistaken. And this watch as well, I think it looks great. I thought it was a really, really interesting watch. So uh, I can definitely recommend that you check it out. I think it's a great uh, looking watch. But then again, I have not seen it in person. And the third watch is the Hamilton Khaki Field Chrono. And this is also a Panda dial. And if you haven't noticed, I really like Panda dials. And this is a great watch from Hamilton. Hamilton in general makes some excellent watches, but I think this is one of the best looking chronographs uh, they are producing. And uh, this watch is unfortunately 42 millimeters in diameter, so it's a bit bigger, but for a chronograph, it's still reasonable, in my opinion at least. And this watch got the ETA 7750 movement, which is of course a great movement. It's a integrated chronograph, but unfortunately, uh, this movement is a bit thicker than a modular chronograph movement like the ETA 2894, but still a great movement and uh, very popular in this price range. And I must say that this watch looks really, really nice. And of course the finish and quality on a Hamilton watch are uh, great in general. So if you want a really nice looking Hamilton chronograph, I think you can't go wrong with the uh, Khaki Chrono. Another watch from the uh, Swatch Group is the Tissot Heritage 1948. And uh, this is definitely among my favorite uh, chronographs in this price range. I think this is a really nice looking chronograph. It also got the ETA 2894 
and uh, the highlight for me is actually the case and the dial i think the dial and the case looks absolutely gorgeous on this watch and it can be had for a really reasonable price a bit below 1k if i'm not mistaken and i think that's a great price for what you get and the next watch is the Hemel HFT20 with the Seiko NE88 movement and this watch is also 42 millimeters in diameter and this is something in between of a pilot and a diving chrono and I think it's great to see the NE88 Seiko chronograph movement uh, column wheel vertical clutch movement if i'm not mistaken in this price range and uh, the watch in itself looks absolutely gorgeous in my opinion very sporty uh, so uh, yeah i definitely like this watch got a very interesting movement great looks and all that so yeah i can highly recommend that you check it out if you are into this kind of watch and the next watch is actually a older watch so you can buy this new and it's the credor GCBP997 and uh, I actually own this watch right now and it's, of course it's a Credor so a sub brand of Seiko which you can call it and this watch is about 20 years old and uh, they can be had they can be found they are not that rare and I must say this is perhaps the best uh, or if not the best automatic chronograph from Credor or Seiko this is basically as close as you can get to a Grand Seiko automatic chronograph right now. The finishing on this watch is almost Grand Seiko uh, level. The movement is the 6S78, which is probably, if not the highest end automatic chronograph movement Seiko have ever produced. Uh, it's, uh, it shares the same foundation as the 9S uh, movements that can be found in Grand Seiko. So this is, in my opinion, and a lot of people that know a lot about Seiko, the closest thing you can get to a Grand Seiko automatic chronograph right now. So yeah, I can highly recommend this watch. Of course, it's a older watch, so it can be a bit trickier to find than buying a new watch, of course. But this watch, if Credo would have marketed themselves differently, would go for perhaps $5,000 instead of uh, around $1,500. So yeah, I can highly recommend this watch. The next watch is also a Hamilton Kaki field watch and uh, this watch got a different dial but of course very similar to the previous Panda I mentioned uh, this watch got a different look to the Panda version and uh, in my opinion I think these two Hamilton chronos are my favorites in this price range from Hamilton so if you don't like the Panda you want something a bit different I think this is definitely a great alternative to the Panda. And the next watch is the Alpina Alpiner chronograph and uh, Alpina is owned by Frederic Constant so very similar in finishing and quality to Frederic Constant. I think they share a lot of things between each other so if you like Frederic Constant you like the quality of those watches Alpina is definitely on par with Frederic Constant. And this watch is a chronograph, of course, 41.5 millimeters, so a bit bigger, but still reasonable. And it got great finishing, great quality. I think it looks great. There are a few different dial versions. Some are harder to find, perhaps some are a bit more expensive. The black dial can be had for around $1,000, which is a great price for what you're getting. I'm a big fan of the Panda version of course, but I believe that watch is a bit harder to find, but uh, yeah, still possible to find in this price range. Okay, the next watch, and this is actually a vintage watch, and this is the Tissot Sea Star with the Lemania movement. And this is a free unknown watch until recently. They could be had for a really cheap price. These days they are going up in value, unfortunately. Uh, more people know about these watches, but they can still be had under $1,500 right now they are going up as i said and uh, this is a really great looking vintage chrono from tissot and of course it got the lemania 1277 so it's a legendary movement uh, one of the best and so yeah this is definitely a great watch and if you like this watch i recommend that you pick one up uh, pretty soon as they are going up in value the next watch is also a vintage watch and that's the seiko 6138 8020 and this is also a panda dial 
and uh, this is one of my absolute favorite vintage uh, Seiko chronographs. It got a great high-end uh, automatic chronograph and the case and especially the dial is absolutely gorgeous on this watch. They can be found pretty easily but nonetheless this is an excellent watch, great size, the looks are among my favorite as I said so yeah I can highly recommend this watch this is an absolute steal when it comes to value for money in my opinion so that's all the watches in this video let me know if you like these kind of videos and want to see more and as I said in the beginning I will do a full review of the Akron K05 automatic chronograph so stay tuned for that and I will also do a full review of the Creedor Phoenix so stay tuned for that as well and if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thanks for watching and hope I see you in the next one bye